What's going on, people? Thank you for tuning in for another beer review, which of course means that it's Beer Monster O'Clock. Gosh, I'm back off on a day. I'm feeling fresh. I used it for a bit of a detox, to be honest. I cut right down on the drinking and was drinking lighter beers and stuff like that. Um, that new Corona thing that's like 3.2%. Come on. Uh, what a good boy I've been. But I'm back and it's time for another beer review. I've been straight to home bargains as I do since I've come back. Because as you know me, I'm a bit of a home bargains whore, you could say. And uh, I noticed they had a new lager in town. So I thought, let's crack it open. Uh, crack it open. Let's, <laughs> let's give it a review. Um, it's by the Sharps Brewery. Of course, make the absolutely fabulous Doom Bar. Yeah, let's say about that the better. This is their offshore Pilsner. Uh, before I give it a go, it's a good ABV, it's 4.8%. That's a decent level ABV for a lager, in my opinion. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's 69p and own bargains. Got to be worth a try, isn't it? 69 pennies. So I thought I'd pick up two cans. So I've got another one behind me. Um, in front of me, sorry, which I'll grab in a sec. Uh, yeah, 4.8%, 69p, 330ml can. Hopefully it's quite good. You never know. Hopefully they're a bit better at making the pills now. Uh, let's give it a try. Let's crack her open and see what she's all about, shall we? The Sharps Brewery, I believe, is based in Cornwall. And I do like me a pills now. So I'm quite excited to try this because uh, with home bargains, cheap doesn't always mean crap normally means a short day or company has gone out of business or something along them lines, you know. Uh, let's have a look at her in the glass. Let's grab that other can quickly. Uh, there we go. Uh, all right. I'm gonna stick the other one in there as well. Why not? It's nice, it's nice to have a pint, isn't it? It is nice to have a pint. That'll do. We've got a nice big head. That'll do. It's a very pale straw, I could call it golden, whatever you like, but it's a pale golden or straw color. Uh, good levels of carbonation, quite small bubbles, which they say is a sign of quality. Nice white foamy head. It actually looks pretty decent to be fair, don't it, in the glass. This Stella glass, the chalice, if you like, does tend to bring out the best in the beverages. Uh, in the lagers, that's why I use it. And uh, yeah, this one looks pretty good. Let's get the nose in there and check out the aromas of the beverage. Uh, smells a bit herby. It's it got like a herbal kind of aroma to it, this one. A citrus, I can't make out what citrus, it's like a blended blended sort of citrus aroma. Yeah, it's, it smells all right. It don't smell nothing special. It smells okay though. Um, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't smell that much like a Pilsner though, to be honest. Anyway, let's give it a try. It's all in the taste of the beverage. And for 69p, even if it's half decent, you know, worth a shout and if you're on a budget two cans of that you got a 66 660 mil can ain't you for one pound 38 pennies that's dirt cheap isn't it All right cheers everybody bash is that a little bit hazy no i don't think it is maybe slightly very very slightly anyway let's see if it's worth a buy Okay. First of all, it's got a reasonably smooth mouthfeel. Quite a nice mouthfeel, actually. I'm going to have to go again on this one. This one, then, one that takes a little bit of time. Either I'm not tasting much or it just didn't register. It's kind of a beer or two halves for me, this one. It starts off quite well with that quite smooth, nice mouthfeel for a lager. The carbonation, despite looking crazy in the glass, is actually lacking somewhat. 
it almost tastes, I don't know if it's just me, but just slightly flat and it's in a nucleated glass. So I definitely wouldn't recommend putting this in a non-nucleated glass if it kind of tasting a little flat out of a nucleated glass, which normally sends beer, beers absolutely mental. But it's weird because it looks quite carbonated. It just doesn't taste all that carbonated for some reason. It's rather an odd one. Although, <coughs> carbonation is present. After that nice smooth mouthfeel, you get, you know, it's, it's a clean tasting lager. It's a very fresh tasting lager. It's a very easy drinking lager. At the start, you think, right. And then you're sort of waiting for something to happen, be it a pilsner. You'd expect perhaps a decent bitterness on the end of a little bit of spice sort of thing. That's my idea of a sort of decent pilsner. And this one's not doing either. And it's a real shame because it is nice and clean tasting, especially for a UK brewed lager. It does taste clean, it is refreshing, it's it's not crisp, there's no dryness, there's no real bitterness about it, there's no real spice, it's just a little bit boring. And it's almost tasting slightly watery, even at 4.8%, just because there's nothing really going on to take you away from the fact that, of course, beer is mostly water. Do you know what I mean? And the, the water's really coming through, but it's a nice clean tasting water. But I don't want to taste water, you know, it's a pilsner. What you are getting for me with this is a subtle citrusy taste towards the end, which would be nice if it was followed up with a bitterness and a bit of spice, or even a bit more of that herbalness I was getting on the aroma. But there's nothing really here. A bit of spice really won't go amiss, you know what I mean? Or just something. Um, it's just a very unexciting average beer. Uh, it could have been so much better if it just had something about it on the end because it starts off nicely, but where nothing really happens, it's just a bit, I don't know. At the end of the day, 69 pence. For 69 pence, it's very drinkable, um, you know, in the same way that like a Corona or something like that is, you know. But there's not a great deal going on here. It's a very easy drinking lager. It tastes a little bit citrusy on the end. The mouth feels quite good. You know, to say, it, there's just nothing going on. It's a shame, it really is, because there's, right, when I first took that first mouthful, I thought, this is going to be good. And it just never got going. It's, it's a real shame. Perhaps it's not selling well. Perhaps that's why it's in home bargains. I don't know. Um, offshore Pilsner. Yeah, it doesn't really get off the shore, to be honest with you. It stays on the shore. It doesn't get offshore. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I probably would have gone lower, but it is really drinkable and clean tasting. It's just, is it a good Pilsner? I'm afraid no. It's, it's not a good Pilsner. But for 69p, give it a go yourself. I do, I would quite happily, I mean, I picked up like eight cans of this because it was so cheap. I'll quite happily drink them. I probably would buy it again and buy it at 69p just because it's a cheap, inoffensive beer. But it's not a good beer for me. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button if you've enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on this beer if you picked it up. Am I being a bit harsh? It is 69p. But I'm trying not to think about the 69p thing and just think about do I think it's a good beer or not? No, not particularly. But with 69p, it's good value. Pick it up. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them sort of ones. Uh, good value. Worth the money, yes. Good beer, not particularly. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till the next one, I will say bye-bye, darlings.